Hi everyone. Today I'll be teaching you how to crop images in Power Automate. As a reminder, this will work the same way in Logic Apps as well. To perform this flow, we will be using the Cloudmersive Image Connector. Now, to get things started, we will click Create. On this page, we will choose Instant Cloud Flow, type in a name for the flow, select Manually Trigger a Flow, and press Create. Now, we're ready to begin. The first step of our process is going to retrieve the content from our source folder. The file I will be using is in SharePoint, so I will type SharePoint get file content. Next, I will select my SharePoint site address and the file path. After we have created the file content action, we will look up the Cloudmersive image connector, which is the yellow icon here. When I look up crop images, you can see we have options for square, round, and rectangular cropping. For this example, I'm going to be using the round crop, but the flow will work the same way if you select one of the other options as well. It's important to note that if you've never used one of our connectors before, you will be prompted to enter your API key. This is free on the Cloudmersive website with no commitment, and once you've entered it here, you won't be asked for it again. Now, we can add our file content from the previous action and the file name. Moving on to our final step, we're going to add a create file action for our output. I will choose the desired location for my file, including the SharePoint address and folder path. Then I will add a name for the file, followed by the file extension, and choose the body content from the image connector action. Once this information is filled out, we can click the Save button at the bottom of the screen. It will take a moment to save the information, but once it's complete, we can click the Test button. We will choose the manual option for testing the file, hit the second test button, and then continue. After that, we will click Run Flow and Done. After clicking Done, there will be green check marks next to the connectors showing that the flow worked. Sometimes it takes a second or two for all the check marks to appear, so don't stress if that happens to you. Now we can check our newly created file and see that our photo is now cropped to a circular shape. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe and check back in for more tutorials and tips on using Cloudmersive connectors in Power Automate.